In Zimbabwe, cricket was always considered the property of the white community. But now blacks are starting to play the game. And as Adam Shan reports, the young graduates from the new program promise a bright future for African cricket. For Stuart Matsikaniri, cricket is a deadly serious affair. He values his wicket as highly as life itself, because that's what he's playing for. Why do you like it so much? I like it because they, they give scholarships. My mum hasn't got money for me to pay, to pay school for me. Otherwise, if I, if I drop this cricket, I will go in the rural areas and do my education there. <laughs> At 12, Stewart already has the power and grace of a champion. He also has the style of a committed cricketer. His first century came last year, along with national underage honours. His coaches at Zimbabwe's Cricket Academy believe he'll go all the way. He's well coached, he's, uh, he's disciplined, and he knows how to build an innings, and he's hungry for runs. So I would say he's going to be successful. But last year, Stewart's father died leaving the family virtually destitute. With no money for school fees, this township boy was headed for his ancestral village, far, far from the world of cricket. Without the, the sponsorship, maybe he was going to go to rural areas to attend school there where the fees are cheaper. And then that was going to be the end of Stuart in his career. Yet Stuart held his fate in his hands, literally. One day, um, his mother and I were saying to him, if you can uh, take uh, cricket as your main career, maybe one day you find yourself up there. From then on, cricket took on a new dimension for Stuart. With the help of the Cricket Academy, Stuart applied to many of Zimbabwe's cricketing schools for scholarships. He needn't have bothered. They're now fighting to get him, and others of similar ability. They're realising that these scholarships are worth a great deal to them, and uh, that, that is that perhaps their passport to success. Look at the West Indies. If you want to escape poverty in the West Indies, you've got to be a cricketer, haven't you? But Stuart is no West Indian cavalier. His game is built on survival and occupation of the crease, qualities he saw in his hero, a battler from Tasmania. I like David Boone. I like him because it doesn't get, get out quickly. And he makes runs. That's the most, the most important thing, making runs. Stuart also likes taking a few wickets as well. His stock ball is an off-spinner. But each over, he'll throw in a leggy or two in honour of another Aussie hero. It's Shane Warne. Shane Warne's your hero as well? Yes. Cricket culture is spreading in Zimbabwe. Several township schools now field teams and the standard is rising. But it won't be easy for this generation to be accepted in a predominantly white institution. Depends on the blacks and how much they want to succeed, you see. Um, at present, they're rather tending to be, uh, to leave it to other people to provide their opportunities. It's up to them to, to make certain that ultimately they want to be there. The talent is indisputably there. I mean, there's no doubt about it. It's got to be. But you can tell that Stuart has already made his decision. His will be a cricketing life. I want to keep on playing cricket until I can't play it when I'm old. Cricket is a game of heroes. There is scarcely a young player in history who has not modelled himself on some great of the past. So runs the thread of cricket history. For David Boone, they were Australia's champions of the 70s to savour. The Chapel Brothers, um, the Lee Marsh, obviously uh, guys like that. So I think everybody needs heroes, everybody needs someone to look up to. So uh, you know, it helps and um, gives you something to aim at as well to try and get to where they were. Of course, Boone now has become an icon to millions of kids around the world himself. That moustache, the grit, that cut shot, the trademarks of a champion. I like David Boone. I like him because it doesn't get, get out quickly. And he makes runs. That's the most, the most important thing, making runs. David Boone is shaping the career of young Zimbabwean cricketer Stuart Matsikanire. Yet the Tasmanian captain is more than an idol to Stuart. 
He's an inspiration that short men can play this game at the highest level. Stewart's coaches are not so sure. I would say also that perhaps his size would count against him in ultimately. Because an Hick is a tall man and, and Goodwin is also relatively tall. Uh, where there have been a lot of great cricketers who are, who, who are short, it, it is not always a, 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 a advantageous to be short. Yet cricket is full of short men with big records, as Boone will tell you. A lot of good batters have got a very low centre of gravity. And, uh, I think one of the greatest of all time, our son El Gavaskar, was very short. He's actually shorter than me. How many champions have been lost to cricket after bad advice from a coach? We decided to get these two giants together to discuss the problem. A once-in-a-lifetime chance for Stewart. But it wasn't going to be easy. Tasmania was playing in this tour match against Zimbabwe's Mashonaland province. And Boona's skipper was wrapped up in strategy. It would be a long, hot wait in the sun for Stewart. Well, mate, well, you better get your gear on, eh? Yeah. Put your gear on. And then, yeah, like just that. after the tea break, Boone emerged. Perhaps an historic meeting was taking place. First, a batting session. Then a chance to test the technique of one of the world's greats. He's all right. Thank you, sir. Eh? Thank you. Nice and straight. Oh, Rockies, leggies, whatever you want. Yes. Multi talent, you just got to do some work, huh? Yes. I think Stuart's technique's very good. He's obviously been coached quite well. He's just got a little, as we talked about, a little bit of work on his leg stump to open up. And then he's bowling well. Off spinners, leg spinners, anything he wants. He's got a lot of talent. Yeah. He's got an ambition. He wants to play for Zimbabwe, which is great. And Stuart's height? Not a problem, according to Boone. Well, he's only 12, so he's going to grow up a little bit more. You know, I don't think he's going to be that small. Well, you, you can keep your balance a little better sometimes, and uh, obviously when blokes start bouncing you, yeah, you've got a little, fit, little less distance to go down. So that helps us, mate. For David Boone, it's a few minutes at the nets in a small-time game. But for Stuart, it's a cricket memory that will go with him through a career, even sustaining him in moments of doubt and strife. So Stuart, what did you think of that, huh? It was great. He's a good player. Uh, he said, he said, doesn't matter if you shot. He can, he can play cricket as good as tall men. With shots like this and the confidence to play them, it's not likely they'll call this kid shorty for too long. Another giant of the game would be proud.